Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue yet again, and today we are actually checking out a U-boat. This thing right here was built by Sierra Fox, and it is extremely detailed. It is, it is actually pr pretty ridiculous. Um, starting with the actual engines, there are diesel engines, however the startup procedure for them is pretty insane. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump inside, try and start them up, and get this thing moving. Let's go. Okie dokie, so first thing is we actually need to be able to get inside. That would be uh, that would be a very nice thing to do. So let's go ahead and open up this and jump inside of the vehicle. There we go. Excellent. Nice. So we're inside. It is very squished in here because it should be. And um, I'd say that's okay. But yeah, lights on. Let's go ahead and turn lights on everywhere. And hopefully uh, that'll be pretty good. It should be pretty squidged in here as well. Let's have a little look around. Yep, it's very squishy. We do have a torpedo. Uh, in fact, I think there's probably a torpedo in it already. And this is the one that reloads it, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, we got to go to the back to actually do the engines. So, this is where it gets very, very tricky. In fact, where is the lighting for this room? That is the first thing that I want to do. There we go. Nice. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So, I have actually watched the tutorial, but I can't remember how it quite goes. So, we're going to go ahead and pressurize the tank. That is the first thing that we need to do. Uh, actually, we need to make sure the breakers are on also. There we go. Good. And um, that's it for back here for right now. Then we run to the front. Uh, <laughs> I think we do this. All right, hang on. One, two, three, four. I, I don't know how long you do this for, for, but for a little bit until you build pressure. And then we got to run to the back again and uh, close that. So hopefully this works. Run to the back. Close it. Let's see. Yep, 10 bars of pressure. We only needed 5, so that's good. So we've we've now... Wait, open this? Close this. We've now closed this. Good. Then we run back to the front. <laughs> what else do we do? Uh, there's something else that I need to do, and I can't remember what it is. Um, fuel cut off. Let's go ahead and open that. Fuel pump. Go ahead and turn that on. Okay. Now that we've closed it, I think we need to do this. I could be wrong that... Oh, wait. No, actually... I think that's what we need to do. I, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember how we actually do this. What do I need to do? Uh-oh. Wait, there's more to it, actually. There's more to it. Because there's all of these things. We need to turn the taps on for a little while. And we also need to open up the fluid valve up here. Uh, there we go. So turn the taps off. There we go. We only turn them on for a second. This will get rid of water or oil that is left in them. Apparently. So there you go. This is only for one engine as well, by the way. Pretty crazy. Uh, let's do this one as well. There we go. Uh, what is this? Fluid valve. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm not sure we needed to do that, but sure. And then do this until this one reaches 2.5. Okay. I seem to remember that being a thing, but <laughs> we're slowly getting there. That's good. Here we go. 2.5, please. There we go. Excellent. So that's good. Glow plugs on. Until this, um, until this says ready. Do, 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 do. I think he said seven seconds. There we go. Good. And then ignition. Doesn't appear to be working. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's clearly something that I've done wrong here. Okay, so I'm actually supposed to close this valve again. I don't see anything about this valve, but I think this is actually the air supply. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh-oh. And it doesn't... Oh, no, we've lost pressure in this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Open this back up. There we go. Get the pressure back. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, the amount of work that must have gone into getting this to work this way is crazy. Uh, right. Go ahead and close that valve again. There we go. Excellent. And then we need to figure out how to actually turn this thing on. Because the ignition clearly isn't working. All right, so we do actually need this open. This is actually the air valve. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that is already closed. That's good. I think we've done everything that we needed to. Uh, this is then open. Yeah, that's good. This needs to be set to filling. Okay, which is done. And then this needs to go on. But the ignition isn't actually turning it on. So there's something going on here that I've done wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. The tank pressure at the back is actually empty again. Okay, so we need to do all of that again. The same process. Let's go ahead and close this up. Close this up. Uh, turn all of these off. There we go. Turn that off as well. I don't know how to turn that off, but there you go. 
Uh, we need to close that. It's already closed. And then we need to close this as well. And then we need to open this one. And we need to repressurize that tank. So do a few of these. And then we need to start the engine pretty quickly after that. All right, so close this up. There we go. Open this up. There we go. Excellent. Run to the back. Let's go ahead and open this up. Open this. Turn this on. There we go. Uh, go ahead and do that. Do that. Do that. And then do this. There we go. All right. Excellent. Yes. So we lost pressure in this, uh, which meant that that didn't work. So that makes sense. Uh, that's now closed. The engine is now running. Excellent. Now we need to do the same process on this side. I won't bore you guys by doing all of it again. But then we'll go to the front, we'll drive this thing out, and we'll get it moving. Alright, I'm currently doing the glow plugs, and then as soon as this lights up, I think we've got it. I'm pretty sure we have it anyway. So ignition. There we go. Alright, we got both engines started. I love the little, uh, the little, like, jittering that it's doing. That is pretty awesome. Um, I really like this. This is super cool. Like, the fact that it all works, and the fact that it looks so good, uh, is, is incredible. Um, I didn't see anything about this thing at the back, so I'm not sure what to do here, but we will, uh, figure this out. So, I think we can actually use the main motor. Oh, we can't actually turn this on. Hang on. So, I, I, maybe we do this at the front? I'm confused. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the front and see what we can do from the, uh, the driver's seat and stuff. I say driver's seat, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get around this if we can. There we go, padded seat. What do we have? How do I actually steer this? So many questions. I have no idea. Uh, right, okay. Steer rudder, steer rudder. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's sit in this seat. We have reset odometer. We have a panel light. Reset rudder. We don't need to do that just yet. Register depth. Activate system. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, dive planes. No, we don't need that. Okay. So nothing in here is actually necessary to moving this thing. Okay. We need to go backwards and go back into the engine room again. Because otherwise... We don't know what we're doing. Okay, so I believe we turn this on. Yes, okay, good. Then we can go ahead and use this panel, which it is actually working. We'll set the clutch to closed, question mark. I think that's right. And then I think we're actually moving forwards, which is awesome. So now if we go back to the front, let's sit in that seat and see if we're moving. Yes, we are motoring along. It has changed to nighttime as well, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, we are moving in our U-boat. I'm really happy about that. That's super cool. Okie dokie. So let's go to the map and set where we're actually going to go to. What is this over here? The refinery. I mean, that sounds like where there's going to be some ships. Uh, but no, we're going to go ahead and select this place down here with a waypoint. And we're going to go ahead and try and head in that direction. So turn the rudder. Fully to port. There we go. We're going to turn ourselves around. And uh, we're going to start heading in that direction. Hopefully, uh, this works out for us. So as soon as we are heading straight forwards in terms of the direction towards that, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Excellent. Actually, turn it a little bit more. Turn it a little bit more. There we go. Excellent. So we're heading directly towards it. That'd be brilliant. And then set this to forwards. And there we go. It is worth mentioning, I've not done anything to change the weather. And I've also not done anything to change the night time or the day cycle. So it could be that we get hit by huge winds uh, and stuff like that. But yeah. As of right now, that's not happening. This is cool, though. This is really awesome. Okay, so clearly there is a hell of a lot more detail inside of this thing that we should actually look at. So, apparently the crew slept right next to the torpedoes. That is ridiculous, if that is true. That is that is <laughs> scary. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the reload for the torpedo is right here, of course. Um, we have this, which is the control panel for the torpedoes. We've got a bunch of detailing going on back there. We actually have a light right there as well. Um, maybe that's to actually signify when to fire the torpedo. I'm not entirely sure. And also, side note, I'm not entirely sure how uh, to actually fire one of these to make it work. But we'll try and figure that out later on. Um, of course, we do have two attempts at it, so there you go. Uh, this room itself actually seems very dark. So if we can find the light for this room, that'd be brilliant. Um, yeah, hang on, where is it? Where would the light be? Map lamp, that's pretty cool. Uh, hydrophone, that is to, to find other signatures. But, uh, no, we don't need that right now. Uh, air bar compressor, don't know what that does. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, lights. There we go, this is the lights for this room. Excellent. Okay, good. So, it is nighttime. We are currently motoring along in the ocean. That's awesome. That's really cool. 
Okay, so when I said that I have, uh, <laughs> I've not changed the weather events at all, we are currently getting pulled to the right, and I'm not sure what it is doing that. But, uh, we just got pulled severely to the right. I, I really don't know what just happened. I think a rogue wave actually just took us with it, but <laughs> that's really strange. That is very strange. Anyway, we're continuing to head in the right direction, uh, and everything is A-OK. -okay. What I might do now, actually... Uh, is sleep, make it daytime, go out onto the deck, and see if we can get this gun working, because I kind of want to shoot the deck gun. Alright, so it is daytime now. Let's go ahead and get up onto this bit. There we go. Oh, no, actually, that didn't work. Let me climb it again. There we go. Excellent. So we're up onto here. Uh, what is this? What does this actually allow us to do? This is the periscope. Oh, nice. Okay, so if we did dive, this is the periscope, and uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the zoom in feature is a little bit blocked though. I would I would mention that uh, But what is that over there that that is not a ship that is an island. Okay, All right Let's uh, let's turn that off good. So uh, what is over here as well? We got bilge pumps and we got lights. Okay, excellent Let's make our way out onto the, the conning tower Here we go. Oh wow. This is so cool. It is ridiculously cool. Uh, we have flash, we have morse code that we can actually send to people. We can actually steer it from the outside as well, uh, which is pretty awesome. Then we have the deck gun right here, so we can actually shoot this. So precise aim. Let's go ahead and turn it to... Actually, let's try and shoot an island. How about that? So there is actually an island all the way out there. We should be aimed pretty much directly towards it. Cannon pitch down. Do you guys see the island in this? I don't see an island in that in that camera. Okay, fine. We've also got precise aim on this side as well. Just in case we need to fire it from this side. Anyway, breach open. Ammo storage is right in the deck. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and smash that directly into there. And then close this back down. Yeah, nice. Alright, cool. I still can't see the island, but let's go ahead and fire this. Wait, that... Oh, close the breach first. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Alright, fire. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. The breach automatically opens again, and uh, that is that is awesome. All right, so I've decided to actually turn left quite a bit because, uh, well, I actually, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to see what this thing steered like, but that's okay. Uh, we have a Morse code thing right here, which is actually pretty interesting. Can I? Yeah, there's the light right there. So I can actually turn it all the way around if I wanted to, uh, and we could do Morse code on this. Um, so flash. Uh, where's the flash button? There it is. So we can make our own Morse code. We can just do like... I don't know what I just signified, but there you go. I don't know Morse code. Anyway, uh, we're heading out into the ocean. Um, we're just on the lookout for any ships that we may spot. And then if we do see any ships, we will try and destroy them. Uh, with a torpedo. So actually, let's go downstairs. See if we can figure out the torpedo system. And then uh, we'll get on with using them. Let's do this. Is that closed? Yes, it is. Okay. Close this as we go in. There we go. And figure out the torpedoes. Let's go. Alright, how does this work? How do you work? I have no idea. Torpedo panel breaker. Okay, good. Uh, open hole doors. We can flood the tube. We can empty the tube. We can reset it. We can do a bearing. We can do a range. Okay, so time between measurement. I, I do genuinely don't know how this works. So, we're just going to go ahead and fill up the tube anyway. So, here we go. Fill the tube. Water in tube is filling up very fast. There we go. Excellent. Good. Uh, we'll then open the doors once this seems to have stabilized. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully that'll be fine. So open the doors. Okay, it wavers a little bit. That's okay. Arm the torpedo. It is actually armed. Store bearing. Reset. And then calculated lead bearing. I, I don't know. Target bearing. Let's say... Uh, there. So, bearing, what would that be? Uh, <laughs> where's the compass? I, I don't know. Is there a compass? I legit have no idea. Is there a compass? There's no compass. I, I don't know. We could just fire it and see what happens, maybe? I, I don't know. Target range? Probably, let's say... This is in meters, so 1,700. Okay, if we wanted it to fire that far, that would be what that was. Oh, I don't know. Alright, it looks like we do actually have a target out there. There is actually a ship steaming across in front of us. So, uh, I think I might just launch a torpedo in a few seconds and hopefully it will hit it. I, I don't know. 
I genuinely don't know how these work, so we're gonna have to figure this out, but the bearing would be south, so uh, da -da 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 -da, 180, 190, let's say, if it was to, off to the side. Let's go ahead and say that. Bearing, 190. Let's do that. There we go. Store bearing. Okay, 190. Target bearing is also 190. So, store the bearing again. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Depth. Uh, target depth. I guess we'll go with zero. I guess that's fine. And I think we might just fire the first one. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Alright, one torpedo has been launched. I don't see it anymore, but I guess that's fine. D did it actually launch? Yeah, there's no torpedo in there. It's gone. I'm assuming they don't track, but like, I see the ship in front of me. I do see the ship in front of me. Okay, right. Let's go this way. We need to see if it's going to hit. Let's get over there. Meow. Anyone see a torpedo? I don't see the torpedo at all. <laughs> I don't know how these work. Alright, let's get on board the ship. Let's have a little look around. See if we can even see the, uh... The U-boat. I don't see the U-boat at all. Hmm. Hmm-mm-mm. I do see a... <laughs> that is so out of place. Uh, that is so out of place. But no. Where's the... Oh, there's the U-boat. It is traveling, like, directly towards us. But I don't see the torpedo. I don't know how they work. Or is it bearing in in respect to the actual boat itself? That makes more sense, actually. All right, well, anyway, we need to actually figure out this bit. So we need to close the tubes, uh, of course. So do this, do this. Uh, empty the tube, there we go, so that the water doesn't flow into the submarine, of course. Uh, flood tube needs to be off. And wow, that gets rid of it quickly, doesn't it? Wow. Uh, okay, good. So... Maybe the bearing needs to actually be zero. Uh, bearing zero. Because we don't have a compass right here, so maybe it is based off of the actual thing itself. If that makes any sense. Anyway, release this. And we need to somehow push it forwards. I think we might need to stop the actual craft in order to do this, but... Yeah, I think we do. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm supposed to get backwards. It's just falling backwards. This ain't it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We can just run on it and it runs it in. <laughs> That's sick. All right, cool. Uh, close this up. There we go. Excellent. Uh, open the flood tube. There we go. Empty tube off. Open the doors. Arm the torpedoes. And we can fire it whenever we need to. Okay. How close to the ship are we? <laughs> We're right next to it. Okay, turn left. We're going we're gonna to follow the ship. We should also slow ourselves down, but I can't do that right now. Okay, here we go. We're going to stalk our prey. Which is directly in front of us. Okay. Ah! Oh! Why have we just exploded? Huh? That wasn't even the torpedoes that exploded. Everything in here is just broken. Alright, launch the torpedo while I can. Just fire it. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I didn't actually hit the ship. Oh, I didn't hit the ship. I just blew myself up. Oh, you boat down! You boat down! Oh, yikes! Big yikes! Oh, wow, it is actually full of water straight away. That is ridiculous! Uh, bilge bombs need to go on, but honestly, I don't think we got time for that. I think I'm actually just dead. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I sank my own U boat by accident. Uh, I did read somewhere that there is actually a hydrogen issue, so if there's too much hydrogen buildup, uh, it will actually explode the ship. And I do believe that is what happened. I sank my own U-boat. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But also, very, very cool. Anyway, I do want to use this thing again at some point. I do want the torpedoes to work. So I might actually ask Sierra Fox, the person that built it, to participate in a video and see if we can actually get the, uh, the submarine working properly. That would be amazing. But anyway, for right now, um, actually, we didn't even show it submerging. I need to show it underwater. We'll do that before we finish. I say we need to show it underwater. Of course, I have just shown it underwater, but that is in <laughs> that is in the wrong the wrong context. I sank it. I didn't actually um, dive with it. So let's turn the lights on again. We will dive it. Wait. Oh, there you go. Hydrogen concentration. That must have got to like 100% or whatever. 
and then exploded us. So we actually need to do this in order to get rid of the hydrogen. Interesting. Anyway, uh, we're going to run to the back. We're going to go ahead and turn these on. We're going to turn that on as well. We're going to go ahead and switch to this. And cruise motor, let's go. I think we will be moving. Let's go inside of here. And let's see if we can dive. Alright, here we go. So dive plane down. Oh, we're not actually moving. Interesting. Alright, main motor is on. There we go. Uh, I don't know whether we're moving now, are we? Let's have a little look. We are still not moving. Okay, how do I do this underwater moving thing? I need that to work. So clearly we don't need the engines on when we're underwater. Oh, we need the clutch closed. Here we go. There we go. Now it's moving. Excellent. So we need to dive down. We need to make sure that works. We also need to actually uh, fill the ballast tanks up. So let's go ahead and do that if we can. Where do I do the ballast tanks? Where do I do the ballast tanks? Uh, aft dive plane down. There we go. How do I do the ballast tanks? It's not there. Okay, so it is... It must just be... I seen it earlier. Where is it? I'm so lost. Wait, is it this? No, that's the map stuff. Where's the ballast tank stuff? Is it back here? I, I'm sure I seen it earlier and I'm just... Oh, there we go. So, we actually want to... Bring the ballast in. So how do I do that? How do I... How do I actually fill the ballast tanks? I'm not sure. Oh my. Okay, sorry. I was actually looking for... Um, I was legitimately looking for... Right, hang on. We just need to open up all these valves. And then that will increase the amount of ballast in the actual ballast tanks. That makes more sense. Yes. Okay, so now we should actually be uh, going under. Uh, if... Not question mark dive plane up is that the right way and there we go all right nice so now we should be diving excellent our ballast tanks are filling up which is perfect and now we're going underneath the water that is sick that is so so cool um but yeah I was looking for buttons because I'm not used to these new valves I'm not used to these valves at all so um yeah anyway we are underneath the water so let's go ahead and reset this to uh, level let's go ahead and put this to level as well. Hopefully that will keep us underneath the water. We are seemingly surfacing, so let's go ahead and lower this down again. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Keep us underwater, please. No, it's not going to let us. So we need the ballast tanks to actually fill up before we do anything else. Okay, they are still filling. So the bow is still filling. Uh, the main ballast tank is still filling. That's okay. So apparently the stern one needs to be um, 7,600. The bow one needs to be 9,500. Haven't quite reached that yet. And then the middle one has to be 14,000. So that's a thing. Also, we are so totally diving right now. Okay, uh, let's reduce this by a bit. Try and level ourselves out a little bit. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, okay, right, good. It's looking pretty spicy right now. It's looking pretty spicy. This is all very, very manual. Um, but I don't mind that. But if I had crewmates, that would be even better. But, um, yeah, we we managed to allow it to dive. We turned on the engines. That was pretty difficult. This thing is extremely detailed, and I really like it. So you guys should definitely check it out yourselves. But anyway, for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I'm going to surface real quick. Goodbye, guys.